Hey guys, Mike from Pines, Power Sports Marine, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. This was a fun PDI project here this week at the Pine Shop. We stayed a little bit late. Uh, Lee Glass, Four Seasons Repair, his brand new Maverick XRS uh, coming out of the box. If you guys know Lee, he's a, a motorsports tech. Uh, for a lot of years, he taught at the local trade school. He's got a shop just outside of town. Uh, buys lots of uh, parts and accessories from the boys here. And uh, he wanted to be part, he picked this, this unit up from us and he's been waiting for it to come in for the last... Uh, few weeks and when it come in he wanted to be part of the PDI process and who can blame him he wanted to be there when we set it up uh, had lots of questions talk about things talk about suspension about drivetrain all the different stuff about it and just kind of be there as it came out and uh, go for a little test ride when we were all done make sure everything was good to go I thought it was a great idea so we stayed late I turned the cameras on here and this is kind of our little video of what's going on it takes about two hours to pull these ones pull these units out of the box go through them all check a few things over and that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to switch over to my uh, Cyclops gear cameras here, my D7000. I'm going to, it's going to be a little bit of a vlog. So if you have any comments or thoughts, please uh, on the bottom of the video here on the YouTube video, just uh, post away and I'll answer as many as I can going back. Like it's not right out to lunch. It's set up so that if a guy takes it out of the box right now, he's going to be 99% happy with what it is. Okay. That's where all these are, these are pre cut outs or pre holes, eh? Yeah, everything's, they've done, they've done good at marking stuff like that. When you go to do accessories now, a lot of stuff is made that you don't have to, it used to be you had to measure everything, but. It'll be interesting to see your feedback on these shocks compared to our XDS. What's that, Mike? It'll be interesting to see your feedback on these shocks compared to our XDS, because right now you'll probably be about the only local guy that's going to really drive it hard that yeah i'll take it out know. Yeah. we're going to i'll break it in properly okay what do you okay what else do you want me to rip apart okay i'm going to get what i'll do is i'm going to i'll show you where the battery is okay and it's up to you i can hook it up if no, you want I, but it's if tough i know how to take it apart anyway right now how do you open the door right there yeah that guy there so these seats right here they're just velcroed in oh yeah okay or, or clipped in. So you're pulling them. You can put them in after. Let's not put them in right now because okay. we're going to be kneeling around in there. Battery right there, and that's what you get to get at to get it. This seat doesn't come out. Really? Yeah. Because they're made, so all the seats are made like if you want to change the angles and the pivots, they're all bolted in. But there's bolt holes. So if you were to, you can unbolt the structure? You can take the seat out. If you come, come look at this side here, I'm going to show you something quick. If you didn't see this. You see how it's bolted right here? Yes. It's not hard to take it out, but they've made it so that you can have it in this position. Or this one. Or down, or you can move this bolt down to here. So or you can change there. You can or you change can change the, the... Oh, you can change... Change how it sits in the cab. It still slides, right? So they've given you not just up and down movement, they've given you pitch. Yeah, so whatever you want to so do So you can it. get your ass end into the seat even a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Depending on what size you are, right? Like if you're short or tall or what you want to do. I'll hook the battery up and I'll show you. It's okay. tricky. Okay. Yeah. It seems tricky. Why? Air filter right in So how do you pop the lift? So you, you see that yellow? Yeah. Yeah. You pull, push in? I think you pull on it. Pull on it. Oh yeah. Would make sense. And Twist lock thing. There you are. Yeah. There you are. There's no bag on it. We're good to go. Yeah. And it's a Donaldson, eh? Yeah. So it's a hell of a good air filter. Yeah. That impressed me when I seen, uh, when I seen the, uh, that they ran a pre-filter, a Donaldson filter. And they run a, that kind of a seal on over it. Over top of this edge here. Yeah, to even give you a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, um, hop in here for a sec. It's a pretty good manual. We don't have the bottoms on the seats there yet. But no. And this is probably way like forward, eh? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so we got to program the keys there yet. So, so this is learning key, the green one? Well, it's up to you. If you want them, if you want that a learning key. You're or... a learning key, the green, yeah. Okay, so just push the start button just to power it up. Okay, no, yeah, that's good. And we'll see if we can scan it here. So, uh, power steering mode. Yeah. Four wheel drive, sport mode, yeah. override, reverse, eco yeah. mode. Yeah, eco mode, eco mode is like your... Grain fuels? Yeah, it's it's uh, no no. It's like there's less torque. It's like uh, you'll you'll see a difference between each. it's a it's a different power curve. It's different timing to it. Ooh, do you really notice if you're yeah. cruising? Yeah, just run it in. Run it in sport mode. I did put a little bit of fuel in it. Do you need to check oil or anything? Or are we good? We're usually good. We'll know right away. <laughs> 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 okay, 
so I got my my ride on key on. I push and hold. Yeah, so and it'll hold. start up. Okay, so if you didn't have oil in it, there would be an oil light on right now. Oh, it would? It would be on like right now. When we do oil changes... There's an oil level there's, light? Well, there's oil sensor, oil pressure sensor. Yeah. That oil pressure sensor is so sensitive on them that on the old ones, when we do an oil change, we get a check engine light and a limp home mode. It comes on right away. Right quick. So. Sounds good. Okay, now, are you in four-wheel drive? I'll just flip this up. How do you tell? Right there like That's that. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to put it in low, and then you just drive off the crate forward nicely. And then I'll pull that crate out of there. Hey, and back or back in. You want to help me just drag that out? No, it's and not. And they know that. They said that too. Like the front diff isn't designed. Like you can go through a lot of mud with it, but the front diff is designed for high speed sand riding. Like it's, yeah. it slips different than the, than the other stuff. Does. It's, made to, it's made to have, it's made to bag. Yeah. yeah. Are you, do you find that all the stuff pre torqued and pre done from Bombardier? Yeah, you'll it's never pretty find you it. No. Yeah, you've been there, done that, eh? Yeah. You still got to check when it comes to safety, though. You got to check this stuff. You got to have a look at the shocks and make sure. Well, I used to wear a dirt biking too, but. You used to dirt bike bike? Well, I have had lots of dirt bikes, yeah. You know, it's just like a car, right? Yeah. It costs as much as a fucking car. We'll go over to the pumps, and by that time, it'll warm itself yeah, up. Yeah, so it's on your side? Yeah. You don't even know where the gas thing is, do you? No. The fuel thing, I'll show you. No idea. We might have to move that crate. Will it reach, Todd? Just pull right here. Right there. That's good. Yeah. Tuning test in here. Just watch whatever that is. Wow, I can't believe it. Yeah. Fucking picked it up. So you're doing 30 right now? In our demo, the last time I was down here, I was 60. And just and just like this, and it went fine. this way for a bit. We'll go down this right here, left. Yeah. This is fun, this area. You gotta watch for the telephone poles. I'm not going to go hard because it's just brand new. Nothing's leaking. Just have a quick look here and just make sure I don't think anything's... All the shocks look good. Everything's in place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. You usually get a warning if something was wrong, but yeah, everything's on there. I see smoke. 
That's the paint probably from the muffler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, burn yeah right, right there, yeah. Have you got to drive one of the X the, the new V ones on the trail? No, just the XDS so far. But it felt very like just sitting over there, it felt similar. Yeah, it would, eh? But you gotta remember that you're wider, so Yes. That's why when I said at first we'd go over here in the in the bush and then I thought no that's probably not a good idea. We'll stay over here. Well I appreciate you coming out and setting this up. Oh it's fun. This is fucking awesome. Crepes. People would kill if this was their job. Yeah, yeah, well. Yeah. I'll just switch down here. So like I said, this stuff. This stuff it soaks up fine. It was that first stuff when we that that first crap when we first got going the that you feel stuff. it come through the through the chassis, right? The chatter, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is kind of what it's designed for, right? Right. This type of and this is the trail that we have so much of around here. Exactly. That's like this. I bought it. This I is all it. whole beam, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. go down in there though I think we'll scratch in there all we'll good, turn around. All good. so that's where they're talking make sure you come to a stop before you're going Through from your shift. Yeah. yeah makes sense yeah go gentle on the ship yeah Tires stick, eh? Hey? Oh, like those big horns are stick, they stick. Like we came down that. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. They're fun. I better give it back to you. <laughs> That's good, brother. What's that? It's all good. Oh, yeah, we'll run it back. Yeah. It's working. There's four miles on it. Feels good. Okay. So there we're racing around in two-wheel drive, eh? Yes. And you can actually feel it slipping every once in a while. Yes. No, no more. This is made like four-wheel drive, high-speed run. Like that's the difference. No more slip. an all-wheel drive. It does, yeah. That pipe quit burning off, though. That usually takes about 15 minutes or so. They stick out, eh? They do, yeah. You gotta pay attention when you're walking. <laughs>
So it was an absolute, uh, absolute fantastic night uh, setting this up, couple hours to set it up. We went for that nice little trail ride, put about five miles on it, made sure everything was working properly. I can see um, this side. And just, it was fun. We, like I said, we had a lot of fun. Lee's a great guy and it's uh, really easy to uh, stay late and do something like this for him. Um, we've got it all loaded up on his trailer. It was tight going on. He has a pile of accessories uh, in the box of his truck there that he's got to add on. A lot of BRP accessories, stereos, doors. Um, just a ton of stuff. It's going to be neat to check up with an update on him here in a few weeks when he gets it all installed and go out for a nice test ride with him. We've got lots of awesome trails around here in the Prince Albert area, as you can see right here from the shop. Uh, we can just basically go anywhere. Uh, lots of nice sandy trails that this Maverick is, uh, is designed for. It's just a great unit for our area around here. So it's going to be a lot of fun when Lee gets it all set up and uh, get out and do some riding with it and uh, talk to him, get his feedback on the suspension. He likes to tweak and tune things just like anybody else does around here at the shop. So it'll be fun to uh, kind of learn a little bit from him and see how he makes out with this uh, Maverick model. You guys, thanks for watching, commenting, all that good stuff, and stay tuned.